Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be me documenting, introducing my two groups of rats together and hoping that they get along. Make sure you've seen my video where I introduce you guys to my two new rats I've adopted. They are a little bit over a year old and adult introductions in rats is a little bit more difficult but it's not impossible so I'm really hoping that they get along well with Sunday and Sprout. This video is literally just going to be me documenting, introducing my rats to each other and the method I'm using is the carry method but I do have a more in-depth video on introducing rats which I'll leave linked in the iCards and also down in the description below. But this specific video is just going to be me documenting, introducing my four rats to each other, the good and the bad, whether it goes as planned or not. I'm just documenting it so you guys can see what it's like to introduce rats to each other. So without further ado, I'm just going to start the process and talk you guys through it as it goes along. So I started by introducing them in the neutral territory, which for me was a bathtub. This was just to prevent them from being overly dominant over the space. I put a towel down so that they didn't slip everywhere and I also scattered some food around to act as a distraction. So I added in the new boys, Badger and Moose first and then I added in Sunday who I thought was the most dominant rat out of all of them and who had the most potential to be the alpha just so that he could get used to them first. This went really well, there was just a lot of sniffing each other and familiarising themselves with each other's smell. Lastly I added in Sprout, he is my most boisterous rat so I was the most worried about him which is why I added him in last. Again there was just lots of sniffing and curiosity towards each other which is to be expected but there was nothing negative at this stage. As you can see they're mostly just doing their own thing and they were relaxed enough to eat which is a good sign. Badger was acting really sweet straight away, he was grooming the other rats and acting really social towards them which again is another really good sign. Sprout was being a little bit pushy with them and dominantly grooming them which is what I did expect but nothing too terrible. So after about 40 minutes of this I decided to add in the carriers, everything was going really well and I allowed them to climb in themselves before moving on to the next step. The carrier method works by the rats having less area to defend, the rats can't avoid each other so the hierarchy has to be established quicker, this reduces the amount of time they have to be stressed for and there's also less chance of them injuring each other because they're not able to pull away and run away if they do get into a fight. So I didn't film much during this stage because it was really hard to film through the carrier. They were all quickly sleeping together in a mixed pile which is a really positive sign so I decided to move on to the next step. This was only a slightly bigger cage but it was still small enough that they have to touch and interact with each other. This cage was easier for me to attach two water bottles to and observe them a lot better. So again I'm just adding in the rats, it's really important to note that at every stage I cleaned all the cages really well just so that they didn't smell like any of the rats that could lead to them potentially getting territorial over the space. And I was also taking the cages into my bedroom which was again an unfamiliar space to them. At this stage this is when they began to try to establish their hierarchy within the group, so even Sunday and Sprout were pinning each other as you can see here. There was a lot of agnostic or dominant screaming going on and a lot of standoffs and boxing with the new boys. This is all really normal behaviour and to be expected when introducing rats so it's nothing to worry about. Moose even took a little moment to boggle as you can see here. Here you can see Sprout pinning Moose which he isn't too happy about. You can see that his ears are pinned right back against his head and he's roughly grooming him to assert his dominance. And after that Moose decided that it would be a good idea to play dead. It stayed quite tense for a while as you can see by all their body language, but it's important not to interfere, it's really important for them to establish their hierarchy between themselves, as it's very important in order for them to function as a group. They soon calmed down though, I don't know what Sunday is doing with his hand here, they all began to cuddle in one big pile, Badger is under here somewhere which is a good sign, but it's important not to rush things so I let them sit like this for a few hours.
When I hadn't seen them fighting for a few hours and all I had seen was them cuddling and grooming each other, I felt that they were ready to move on to the next step which is a small rat cage. Again this cage had been cleaned really well and just contains their usual substrate on the bottom, two water sources and nothing else that they could possibly fight over. And again I'm just adding the rats in one by one in no particular order and letting them explore the cage. Understandably at each stage there's tension again, especially now that they have a lot more space, but this is fine and I left them to it just making sure that I was nearby if a real fight did break out. Moose really made me laugh at this point, he had just been pinned by Sprout a couple of times and just decided to sit like this for a while which was so adorable and not the most flattering angle for him. Badger was being quite defensive and rearing whenever the others came near him, so I was keeping a close eye, meanwhile Moose was being a bit inappropriate. After a while I heard a commotion and as this cage had given them a lot more height, when Sprout had gone to assert his dominance the two new rats went straight up and when he went to chase after them he caught his claw on the bars of the cage and caused it to bleed. Badger also had a small superficial cut on his ear from Sprout and as it was quite late at this point I decided to just put them back into the smaller cage to minimise the risk of injury while I was sleeping but as it was a self-inflicted injury I didn't separate them as that would have just set them back quite a bit. So the next morning I tried again, I put them all back into the small rat cage and the mood seemed a lot less tense than before after they'd spent the whole night cuddling with each other. They were still fighting occasionally but nothing serious, the two new boys did start mounting and humping Sprout, which is something that I haven't seen my rats do before, but this is just another way of them trying to establish dominance over Sprout. The fighting did gradually fade out to them cuddling together more and more and choosing to cuddle together in a pile, so about two days later after they were a lot more settled they finally got to go into half of the main cage. Again it's mostly bare inside besides a litter tray and a rope that I didn't want to take out because it's really difficult to put back in, just while they get used to being in a new space. They seem to really enjoy being back in the big cage again which was nice, even though this process is necessary, it's always good to have them back in a cage where they have plenty of room. Over time I started adding more cage accessories into the cage for them, I made sure that these were things that they couldn't get trapped in, so no hidey houses that only have one entrance, just flat hammocks and ropes and things to climb on, just to prevent them from getting injured if they do start fighting in an enclosed space. They will be gradually getting more and more things in the cage until I can extend the cage and give them access to the whole cage, but it will still be a while before they're allowed anything that is enclosed just to be safe. In terms of hierarchy I still believe that Sunday is the true alpha, 
which makes sense because of his sheer size, but also because generally all of the other rats seem to respect him and he's not really had to assert his dominance much because they just accept that he is the alpha. Most of the small fights are between Sprout and Badger, who I believe to be the betas of the group as they were fighting for their position in the hierarchy and I did sense that Sprout would struggle and feel the need to defend his place as boss beneath Sunday. There still may be some small fights that break out as they continue to get used to living with each other, I'm really happy with their progress and pleased with how things have gone. I know this isn't always the case for everyone and some people have a really hard time with introducing their rats so I consider myself lucky that it has gone so well. But I think I am going to end this video here because they are towards the better end of the introduction process and anything else that I do is going to be over the span of the next few weeks. But overall I think it went pretty good and I'm really happy to see them all living together. So that is it for today's video guys, I really hoped you found it interesting watching me introduce my rats to each other. This is just a method that I personally prefer using. I definitely recommend checking out my other video talking about how to introduce rats in a more general sense but this is how I've gone about it with the four rats I've introduced today. Don't forget to subscribe to see any future animal related videos from us and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!